Close, everyone. Ah, uh, shoo. Um, and yeah, I think it was uh, again, Title and and Cyclo who were providing a good chunk of these uh, today. Ah. Uh, Okay, so let's go ahead and get it started on this first one. The New York Times is suing OpenAI and Microsoft for copyright infringement. Uh, so the New York Times is, is Soviet, uh, suing OpenAI and Microsoft for copyright infringement, claiming the two companies built their AI models by copying and using millions of the publication's articles and now directly uh, compete with its content as a result. As outlined in the uh, lawsuit, the Times allege OpenAI and Microsoft's large language models, the LLMs, which uh, power ChatGPT and Copilot, can generate output that recites Times content verbatim, closely summarize it, uh, and mimics its expressive style. This undermines and damages the Times' relationship with readers, the outlet alleges, while also depriving it of it. Uh, depriving it of subscription, licensing, advertising, and affiliate revenue. Hey, we go boom. What's happening? Boom, how are you doing? Welcome on in. Can I get a little shout out in the chat for boom? Yeah, there he is. Um, <laughs> hey, how is uh how has Hollow Knight been? On to Fortnite. Of course, of course, was playing some Beat Saber and Contractors. Which the latter is essentially COD. Ooh, VR COD. That sounds pretty awesome. Tough today though. Yeah, I would like to go and try it at some point, but I haven't gotten around to it. Uh I think when I came in and was watching on your stream, that's kind of what I was saying. They have COD maps. The stream's been good, chilling uh, with people, and then we were getting into some news here just you know, just a second or so ago. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna catch up real quick. Uh, Cross was hitting me with some some info. Oh, I, I see, I see, Cross. And then you were saying, <laughs> yeah, uh, AI always has to learn from somewhere. Sounds like a vibe. Yeah, it's been it's been a little bit of that today. Um, and there's so little news over this time, you know, uh, during Christmas in between New Year's now. There's just so little news. So we're just hanging, chilling. Yeah, VR is awesome. Yeah, Vash and I used to play some VR every here and there. Benign, bro, welcome on in. Can I also get a shout out for Benign in the chat? And if there's anybody else in the chat who has been hanging out as well, and you would like a shout out, please let us know and the mods will hit you with a shout out. Ooh, yeah, please, for Jenny as well. One follower away from 100. Yes, please, get a little shout out for Jenny. And if you guys haven't, make sure you go follow her. One away from 100? Of course. The compassion. Not me learning about Jawbreaker. Hey, I love that though, man. Um, yeah, awesome. Good people, good people out here. Sorry, welcome on in, y'all. I'm gonna keep on getting into this. Uh, I accidentally clipped that. That's, that's all right. You need clips, so <laughs> we get a little taste. Jennifer, uh, I think it just is just just jenny my friend <laughs> i insured it um all right i'm gonna get back into this this news article real quick about ai uh, the complaint also argues that these ai models threaten high quality journalism by hurting the ability of news outlets to protect and monetize content through microsoft's bing chat recently rebranded as copilot and open ai's chat gpt defendants seek to free ride on the Times' massive investment in its journalism by using it to build uh, substitute products without pr uh, permission or payment, the lawsuit states. Also, oh no! Did anybody see that song that just that just dropped in here? Sorry, but sorry, yes, I was gonna yes, say Cyclo. Y'all, yes. y'all, y'all check that. 
I, is there a link in the chat for the song that's playing right now? Sorry, Cyclo. I had to, man. I had to make it work. You did save me some points. I know. I had to, man. Dropping a lurk. Hey, thank you, Benign. I appreciate seeing you, Bo. If you get back, we'll see you then. If not, I hope you have a fantastic night, man. Uh, so, okay. Yeah, I had to steal it. It was, it was, it was, it was one of those moments where it needed to work and it just worked. Um, so, okay. I think we kind of get what's going on. So it sounds like New York times is going to be making a move against open AI and Microsoft's co-pilot, um, which is, uh, pretty, pretty crazy stuff. Um, yeah, damn. That's kind of what I expect is going to happen. All these AI models got to get, uh, got to get trained on something. So, you know, it's, it sucks that it ends up being on, on these companies that, yeah, they, like they said, they've, they've, they've put the money into the journalism, even if you don't appreciate what they report on or what they, what they have to say, they're still putting their money into those people, you know, and then if these other companies are just coming by and swiping them again it doesn't matter if you agree or don't agree with what they're saying you know you're, they're still stealing to see your face no i don't want to see your face i want you to i just want you to be a name in the chat <laughs> uh, i'm just kidding friend i'm just kidding all right let's keep moving uh, PlayStation Plus's January lineup kicks off the New Year's in style. I'm excited to see what I didn't get to see what it was yet. I haven't checked it out. I just saw that this was here. PlayStation Plus subscribers have several games to look forward to in January with free essential games, including a Plague's Tale Requiem, e or Requiem uh, Evil West and Nobody Saves the World. Uh, Sony Interactive Entertainment announced the lineup on Wednesday. Uh, players can download the trio of PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5 games beginning Tuesday, January 2nd. Plugging out here. I give you, I give you this one. I give you this plug, bro. Missed the older version. Well, sorry, bro. <laughs> I don't, I don't necessarily care that much. I, I, I don't have too much thoughts on PlayStation. It, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I've become, I've become too, too desensitized to it. So, uh, so I don't know much about these games at all, but it sounds like they must be pretty good. Plague's Tale is uh, firmly focused on stealth gameplay. Out. I'm out. Follows Amika and her young brother to a tropical island in search uh, of a cure to his mysterious illness. Interesting. Evil West is a blood and guts shooter where players take on the role of a cowboy named Jesse Renater. Rentier. On a quest to dismember as many demons as possible. Oh, so just, uh, so that one's just doom out west, huh? Uh, Nobody Saves the World is a bright, cartoony, Zelda-inspired dungeon crawler from Drinkbox Studios. Team behind Guacamelee and Severed. Ooh, that sounds actually pretty dope. So, pretty cool stuff there, guys. <clears throat> Definitely worth checking out. Fable coming. Yeah, Fable will be interesting. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Dishonored? Damn. 
I never I never played any Dishonored games. They weren't they weren't really for me. Uh, I saw this as well. This one I I was like, oh damn! Like I feel like when I see AI art stuff, I'm always like, yeah, it does kind of look like AI art. So I bet you like I bet you this is kind of one of those weird things without reading anything yet. I'm I'm wondering if it's kind of one of those weird hybrids where they they started with AI art and then <laughs> and then they and they had an artist work on it after that point. Uh, so Xbox is getting slammed for its AI generated art promoting indie games. Uh, Tis the season to promote indie games with AI generated junk, apparently. Oh, this is this is also just so you guys know, this is from Kotaku. Kotaku is a little intense with how they write their articles. So a Microsoft Twitter account recently posted low effort, energy intensive art promoting indie games on Xbox before later deleting it after getting uh, roundly mocked by fans and developers alike. <laughs> Uh, walking in an indie wonderland, the ID at Xbox account tweeted on December 27th. Uh, what were your favorite indie games of the year? The post was accompanied by AI generated image of children sledding down a hill with a uh, giant green Xbox logo on it. It looked harmless at first, but a second or third glance immediately revealed telltale AI anomalies like children maneuvering their sleds with cranks attached to nothing and fishing in the snow for presents with weird black tendrils. A man playing a game, a gaming handheld in the center top of the image has his top lip replaced by teeth <laughs> a child jumping through the snow appears to have had a mustache <laughs> it's really a bad look considering ai at xbox is supposed to be the human facing team within the mega corporation oh god oh god this is this is nightmare fuel holy shit getting it right like especially something like this i feel like this is easy enough to like fix and then like yeah some of this is just weird but this is like easy enough like you don't even have to you don't have to have his mouth be all open like this and i feel like a, a, an artist could fix it now i take it back i thought that that's how this was gonna work that they would have like there would have been some kind of better something but god damn that's bad ssx ssx i never played any of the ss oh no I, I played a little bit but of course but like not not enough that i would have remembered yes this is this is some this is some cross music this is the the spotify stuff as well um so yeah pretty pretty interesting one um okay these last two are from me uh the first one pretty sad actually um i do not want to mess up this guy's name so i'm just gonna say lee the star of the oscar winning film parasite uh passed away at 48. i was sh shocked um so lee the actor who played uh park dong ik or Ike in the Oscar winning movie Parasite. I'm sorry, I never saw Parasite. Uh, has died at the age of 48. As reported by THR, the news of Lee's death was confirmed by South Korean news agency uh, Yonhap. Lee was said to have been found dead in a car at a park in Seoul on Wednesday, December 27th. He was really young and he and only like a handful of years off of off of doing parasite i don't know if he did much more after that but i just i was shocked I'm, i want to look up uh, and see if there's any if i can see anything else about him uh, like if he what other kind of uh stuff what other stuff he had done Oh man, he was in a lot, a lot of stuff. Yeah, and only to only be forty-eight. 
it's really sad. Uh, I, we don't know what it is, Cross. I'm not gonna. I don't want to speculate on anything, especially somebody's death. That's uh, not the way to not the way to remember somebody. So, yeah, Parasite was just one of those ones I, I I just never got around to going through and seeing and everything. I would really like to at some point, but. Sucks that, it, that this is gonna probably be the thing that ends up pushing me to, to do it at this point, you know? Um, but I do have something that'll that'll bring all of our spirits back up, guys. I promise. Uh all right, let's let's after taking, you know, just a few minutes, um, we'll, we'll we'll jump over to this other one. This is this is the one that's gonna get us all kind of going. Uh, <laughs> so I found this one. And, and again, these are just such polar opposite kind of articles and it seems so weird to try and jump from one to the other. But uh, this article is about how scientists are grappling with the challenges of sex and reproduction in space. Uh, with a little subtitle of, it's more complicated than you think. I did a little bit of reading in this just a touch and I was like, okay, I feel like this is actually interesting. Uh, not just as a you know, aha sex thing. But I think it's actually, it's actually something that has to be kind of thought about at some point. All right, all right, all right. Easy, easy cross. Come on, man. Don't, don't, you know, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta say every single, every single thought that's coming up, bro. Here, let, let's, let's, we can read, man. Come on down. Pump up the brakes, my man. Oh, goodness. Uh, all right. Uh, all, right, all right so an increasing number of people are opening up to the idea that humanity's survival is tied to our ability becoming multi-planetary species but for this to become a reality uh, countless technology and biological barriers must uh, be overcome and we must answer to a vital question are humans even capable of making babies in space Uh, with the proliferation of space tourism, the opportunities for humans to have sex in space are greater than ever. Thankfully, the civilian astronaut flights offered to date are inherently shared experiences which offer little in the way of privacy and, evil, uh, and even less scope for any passengers hoping to become a founding member of the 100 kilometer high club. Uh, for better or for worse, the, statu the status quo is likely to change, especially once the raft of planned civilian space uh, stations start to populate low Earth orbit. However, just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Uh, the realities of having a sex in space are likely to be trickier, uh, said... <laughs> The realities of having sex in space are likely to be tricky to say the least. And there are obvious reasons why microgravity copulation uh, might not be a great idea in the short term, at least. For starters, it has the potential to be messy, which is problematic in an environment that needs to be kept hygienic, but uh, we'll leave the details there to your imagination. intrusive thought Bro, see look at you just you just can't help yourself listen you're i feel like your whole uh i feel like your whole mind is like 
it's, it goes 100, 100 degrees when I, or 100 miles an hour, as soon as I hit said sex, you're like, oh, 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 whoa. It's okay, man. It's all right. Uh, though not an insurmountable issue, weightlessness would also serve to make the act itself more challenging. And the effect that sexual relationships uh, might have on the social dynamics of a crew locked together in a tight space for months on end during long haul missions can't be overlooked. Others have chosen to look beyond the uh, practicalities of the act itself, instead touting the importance of establishing a controlled scientific approach to the uncertainties surrounding human reproductions in space. Access to space is essentially at the inflection point of becoming exponentially available over the last 18 months, and we can't mandate people do can't mandate what people do and it's human nature to also be competitive said space uh, medicine expert dr sean pandya pandya during a south by southwest panel on sex in space earlier this year uh someone will want to be the first to copulate in space the first to conceive in space the first to deliver in space and we're not uh we're not figuring this out ethically as to what happens if it is tratogenic uh tratogenic to bring a pregnant woman in her first trimester to space and we're not figuring that out uh then we're setting ourselves ourselves up for trouble later one okay so if we're not figuring this out ethically as to what happens if it is tragic to bring a pregnant woman up in her first trimester to space we're, and we're not figuring that out then we're setting ourselves up for failure later okay you're roaring at your own jokes well i'm glad man <laughs> uh yeah, I feel like it is, is, this is in, pretty interesting as a as an idea, not as not as much as I, apparently Cross is really finding it to be his own thing. Um, whether it be in res uh, response to the rise of space tourism, the long sighted goal of making humanity a multiplanetary species or pure uh, scientific curiosity. The fact is that researchers are increasingly interested in whether it is possible for humans to make babies in space. Uh, to date, a number of animal reproductive studies have been conducted with varying degrees of success in low Earth orbit. With a 2021 study conducted aboard the International Space Station, indicating that it may indeed be possible for early mammalian embryos to form in space. Or oh, man. Oh, okay. Uh, in the coming decades, the Netherlands uh, based uh, company Spaceborn United is hoping to shed further light on our ability to make babies off planet with its assisted reproductive technology in space uh, the artist mission program. Yeah, of course it's my country. Damn, bro. So yeah, this is a, a again without without Cross kind of putting his uh, his own gross sauce all over this. Uh, this is actually really interesting and, and stuff that we're gonna actually have to be kind of challenging with here, you know, over the next little while. And it's interesting that it's actually being stuff that's being kind of looked at um, over the next little while here. So I'm uh, kind of a little bit. Uh, Kind of a little bit shocked. I wouldn't even have thought of it. They kind of talked about uh, 
<laughs> Alright, hold on a second. Wait a second. I'm... Okay, you're done. Alright, bro, good. I was about you were about to get a, you were about to get a little bit of a timeout. I was gonna have to time you out there, man. <laughs> you're going a little too wild here. Um, but I was thinking like they were talking about these long journeys. Wow. Uh, what a hole these long journeys that you're gonna have to be taking and stuff and i and it I, I don't know why my mind immediately thought like like they're kind of talking about like the social dynamics of that and stuff and then i was thinking like man think about like how much people were so mad about like the pandemic and everything being locked inside and stuff imagine being like on a journey where you're going to like another planet you know or even just out into space like you can't just leave or go somewhere like this is a whole nother level of just craziness. I think it's pretty interesting stuff and something we're going to be definitely, uh, definitely seeing in the, in the next little while, uh, as, as space definitely becomes a thing. Would you have to get a passport? Where would you, where will you be born? Yeah. That's like the stuff that they're, they're trying to figure out, especially people who are born in space. Are you an alien if you're birthed in space? No. Not technically. It just depends on where you're... I think it would be... I think you would default to where your parents are born from. And then eventually, yes, that'll be like a thing later on when that won't be, you know, sufficient because your parents could be born from space and that'll be another thing. That is obviously way further down the line because I think a lot of babies and end up being that way right now where you just default to where your parents were born. So yeah, I thought this was interesting, you know. Cross thought it was a great time to to get nasty all over my stream, you sick son of a bitch. <laughs> um, but no, I mean for real, guys. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. And and yeah, I I, I thought this one was definitely worth uh, talking about a little bit. make a remake of that song trademarking it hey get into it man i think if you trademark it people are definitely not going to use it you think they're going to pay you money for that sorry man they're going to find word that doesn't that's not trademarked um cool well like i said I, there wasn't much new stuff um so uh yeah i think that's gonna wrap it up for for news today uh we'll hang out for a little bit before we get into some last of us but uh yeah i think that's gonna do it for the news today thank you all so much for coming and hanging out